Hi Cake, it's Friday. The thing I want to talk to you about today is social work. Can I just gush about my program for a minute because it's amazing. I have a major and it's going really well and I really enjoy it and I feel really good about it. So, oh guys, just let me share with you how nice it is. Yesterday, um, I already posted this on Cake, I'm sorry. I'm posting this everywhere because it just made me so mad. We were talking about social welfare programs and um, obviously it's my aging class so we were talking you know mostly about how the programs that are are specifically for older adults or like older adults can take advantage of them um, so that's that's where I'm coming from on this stuff everyone knows that there's injustice like injustice there is injustice in the system um, but seeing the numbers like the actual numbers like Oh, uh, uh, it made me so mad, you guys. A couple of things, like Medicare Part D is the drug program. Um, if your medication costs under like 2500 I think, somewhere around there, um, then you only pay a percentage of it. Medicare pays the rest. If you, if your medication costs between like 2500 and $6,000, you pay all of it. All of it. Why, when your medication costs more, does Medicare pay less of it? How does that make sense? Okay, the one that pissed me off the most was the SSI, um, which is like the supplemental income thing. Um, because basically SSI is intended to get you to the poverty line. So whatever your income is, Social Security, if you have any other income, they take that and then they add to it whatever you need. They send you a, a, month, a monthly check to get you just to the poverty line. That's all it's there for, um, which is a great like system. But A, the poverty line, like really, really low. Poverty line, like people live above the poverty line and are still in poverty. So if you're living at the poverty line, like that's tough, that's really tough to do. If you're on SSI, then you can't apply for food stamps. How does that make sense? Like, you're the poorest of the poor. You're not even at the poor line, and you are restricted from food stamps. Like, that would be such a helpful program, and suddenly you can't... I just... Why is that not an option? It pisses me off. The big debate about immigration, everyone's all pissed because immigrants, illegal immigrants, are, you know, draining from the system, and they're not registered so they're not giving anything back blah 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 but realistically all of those programs that we talked about and not all of them are just for older adults they're not eligible for any of them like they literally can't apply to any of them I don't understand how that's still an argument um, so if someone could explain that to me that would be great you know who doesn't pay into social security politicians you know who doesn't care what happens to our social security system because they have their own really swanky retirement coming their way politicians I can't. Guys, it's so dumb. It's so ridiculous. This is a side note. I am still learning all of this stuff, so if I get some of my information wrong, please correct me. These systems are so complicated. Like, I'm going to school and I'm learning how to do this so that, you know, it's for my job so I can be a good resource to clients. How many people just in the general population know how the, how the system actually works? On top of that, like, how many of those people are the ones who are actually using the system, you know? Like, a lot of times it's a like education is an issue and if you're not educated like you're definitely I mean I didn't even learn this till college like this isn't like a public school system thing that they teach you so it's like ugh, there's so many barriers and it makes me so mad I love you guys you're the best I will see you on well GN day <laughs> bye guys